Capricorn. Welcome to your July 1st through the 15th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings, um, so that's something to consider. So let's get started. Um, what is the central theme of Capricorn's reading today? What is the central theme of Capricorn's reading today? Okay, so I have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So you're having issues with your connection to source. You're having issues with your intuition. Um, you're having issues with your connection to other people. There, there's issues with your, your connectiveness. I recommend meditation. I also recommend eating things that are white or purple. Uh, that would be really good for you. Getting out in nature. It's your crown chakra. Getting out in nature would be good. What is on Capricorn's mind? July 1st through the 15th. Three cards for what's on. Okay, so I have the two of pentacles upright. So uh, you're juggling things. This is a juggler. This is in your energy. There's decisions about finances, decisions about people. Uh, you're weighing out pros and cons with this card. And you're looking at the past. I see you looking at the past. And you're not focusing on traveling. You're focusing on the past. I also have the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Tower reversed. So the Nine of Pentacles reversed is um, you're over invested in work. There's financial obstacles. This is the card of Virgo. Uh, you're not seeing results for your hard work. Um, there's no ambition here. And You've worked so hard, you feel like you should be enjoying a lavish lifestyle, but you're not. And you feel like you should be in a position to afford anything, but you're not. Things haven't matured yet. And you're not maintaining independence. And there's a lot of worrying. But there's not a lot of mental conflict here. And then we have the tower reversed. So you're salvaging. Mentally you're salvaging things. You're trying to salvage things. You're trying to get out of the way of disaster. Um, there's an advanced warning of change here. You're being tipped off. And you're trying to avoid disaster. You're doing damage control. And that's mentally mentally you're doing damage control. It could be with an Aries. I have Capricorn, Virgo, and Aries here. So there's a lot of ambition here, a lot of uh, energy, and there's a lot of um, habits and being routine oriented. What's going on in Capricorn's family and home life? What's going on in Capricorn's family and home life? Three cards for Capricorn's family and home life, please. Three cards for Capricorn's family and home life, please. So I have the Three of Pentacles upright. There's teamwork, collaboration here. Two more cards for Capricorn's family and home life, please. Two more cards for Capricorn's family and home life, please. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. This is Pisces energy. Um, actually, no, this is Scorpio energy. I'm sorry. This is Scorpio. I, I felt Pisces, um, and then I thought about it. It's Scorpio. This is definitely Scorpio energy. 
This is trying to find meaning in life, soul searching, having multiple choices, daydreaming, being out of touch with reality, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusion. Um, whenever Scorpio is involved, it's a very passionate, sexual energy. It's intense, it's mysterious, it's hypnotic. Um, it has a depth to it. It's mysterious, as mysterious as the ocean itself. So there's teamwork here, and it could be with a Scorpio, and there, but there's illusions, there's fantasy here. There could be, um, nah, I'm not really getting that. I was going to say there, there could be addictions. Not really. Yeah, yeah, addictions. There's addictions here. There's addictions here. For some of you, not for all. All right, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. In the reverse, there's a lost opportunity here. There was a lack of planning of foresight. So I see in your family and home life there is teamwork, but there's a lost opportunity. There's a lack of playing. There's a lot of fantasy and illusions here. Uh, there could be some addictions. There's a very grounded, ambitious, practical um, energy. And then there's a very intense, sexual, emotional energy. These are people that you can count on. They hate change. They're very determined. Routine. They put plans into action. And you're weighing things up. And you're avoiding disaster. You're contemplating. Right, so what is going on in Capricorn's uh, romantic and social life? What's going on in Capricorn's romantic and social life? It's three cards for Capricorn's romantic and social life. Three cards for Capricorn's romantic and social life. So I have the five of wands in the reverse. You're avoiding conflict. I have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So there's temper tantrums, being melodramatic, pushy, self-centered, unfriendly. There's low self-esteem, a lack of confidence, being jealous, manipulative, sarcastic, disloyal. A lot of fire energy, a lot of being temperamental. else is going on in uh, Capricorn's romantic and social life. Okay, so I have judgment, karma, the final outcome. You're unable to hide things. Things came out. They're, they, there's nothing to hide anymore. You're accounting for actions here. Um, but the outcome will go out, will be in your favor. It's just karma is coming back. It could be relationship karma. There's a finality here. All right, three cards of advice for Cap. Okay, so you need to rest. This is a forced period of rest. Um, this is the Four of Swords. This is mental overload, um, a need for retreat. Uh, issues have got the better of you, finding it hard to cope. So, as advice, it's a period of rest. Great. And then I have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So, this is all about change. Swords are all the winds of change. It's air energy. Air you can't contain. Air moves. It's, it flows. It's a free spirit. It's all about change. It's the winds of change. It's motion, action. So we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this is freedom, finding a way out, accepting yourself. This is Gemini. 
The Four of Swords is Libra. And then I have the High Priestess Reverse. So I see that you're not following your intuition. Um, you're ignoring your inner calling. There's impatience here. Secrets have been revealed. You need to, re you need to um, just accept that. The High Priestess sits between two pillars. One's marked B, one's marked J. Uh, it stands for Boaz and Hakeem, which means strength and unity. She holds the Torah in her hand, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. So she's all about the subconscious mind. She stands on top of the moon, and the moon represents emotions. So she's in full control of her emotions. When she reverses, she's not in control of her emotions her emotions are in control of her there's no strength she's being weak there's no unity there's a lack of teamwork um the torah the secrets of the subconscious mind all secrets have been revealed whenever she reverses there's a lack of balance a lack of harmony and this is what the pisces a Pisces, Gemini, Libra. Pisces, Gemini, Libra. Secrets are the cat's out of the bag. And you just have to accept that you need a period of rest and relaxation. Okay, um, so what's going on with Capricorn's money? Three cards for Capricorn's money, please cards okay so the first one is justice so this is Libra again there's a lot of Libra in here um, so this is justice and you're exactly where you deserve to be the walls of karma so karma is coming back to haunt you here um, this is legal matters this could be a marriage a home establishment uh, hard works paying off contracts documents So your hard work's paying off. Yeah, because of where it landed, absolutely. The money's coming in. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool. It looks really cool. So we have the two of pentacles above the three of pentacles, and then it lands right in Libra's scales. And then right here we have the nine of pentacles and the seven of cups. So what's blocking you from getting more money is your emotions. Yeah, okay, so money's coming in, and it's coming in at an increasing rate, which is fair and just where you deserve to be. You could have way, way more money, but your emotions, your addiction, your addictions, your family and your addictions are blocking you from receiving more money. It's causing you to not have a good financial start. Money's coming in, but it could be coming in a lot faster if you didn't have addictions, if your family didn't have addictions. And then this card was just sitting there. Actually, this one wanted to come out too. Okay, this, this makes sense. These were the two cards that were just sitting there. They fell off the deck. Okay. So, we have the Knight of Swords. And he's coming to battle justice. The Knight of Swords comes in fast. He's all about talking. He, he's all about conquest. He, he conquers things. He acts on ideas. Uh, he's a sex oriented. He he's an extremist. He's into big opportunities. He's change, movement, action. He's sudden arrivals and departures. So he comes in quick and then he leaves just as fast. So he's sudden arrivals and departures. Um, he's blunt with his speech. He's direct, honest. Fast pace, so this is fast pace, making a getaway. He gets out quick. He's all about arguments. Uh, law, he's the law. Law officials, the police. He keeps focus, he doesn't waver. 
He's a hero. He fights for the rights of others. It could be that you're heading into trouble and you need to get out when you can, especially with the tower here. So financially, there could be some trouble, especially with addictions. You need to avoid disaster. Avoid disaster by getting out quick. If you have any investments that you're a little bit shaky on, use your intuition. Get out of them quick. That wasn't an accident. Yeah, if you get out quick, then you go straight towards the nine of pentacles. Straight towards all that money. See all that money? All that luxury? If you get out quick, that's what you're heading towards. If you stay in, there's no new beginnings. It blocks you. See, it's upside down. It blocks you from new beginnings. Yeah, if you get out quick, this is what you got coming to you. The Ten of Pentacles. Long-term financial security. Permanent success. Extreme wealth. The best of everything. Long-standing family business. Inheritance. Luck's on your side here. This is very traditional, conservative. This could be a marriage. This could be a marriage for money. Or it could be taking care of an elderly family member. Either way, this is extreme wealth. So if you get out quick and avoid disaster, because you are already thinking about this. You know that something that you invested in could potentially become a disaster. So you need to get out quick. And what if you do, this comes in. And it comes in just as fast. There's a rat. In your financial dealings, there's a rat. That's a rat. In terms of uh, Capricorn's career, three parts for Capricorn, Capricorn's career, please. Okay, so I have the Eight of Cups, two more parts. This one wants to come out, these two, okay. Five of Pentacles, Ooh. Ten of Cups reversed. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles in terms of your money right now and sitting right underneath the ace. This is, this is all about, yeah, this is all about money over here. With your family, what's on your mind, and your, when we ask specifically about your money. Uh, there is some conflict in terms of your money. Justice and the Knight of Swords are air energy. It's all about the winds of change. The Ten of Pentacles is earth energy, and above that we have earth, earth, the double earth. So there's a lot of conflict here. Because uh, you want this financial stability and it's there for you. It's in your grasp. You're thinking of ways to avoid disaster. You're thinking of ways to not have to start anything new. To, to take what you already have that you've completed and make it grow for you. That's what you're thinking about and you're juggling things, you're juggling finances, you're juggling relationships, you're juggling family, you're, you're just sitting there just juggling things. And mentally you don't feel like it's growing. But it is, there is teamwork here. And whatever is happening, it, it, you're exactly where you need to be and things are moving really fast in terms of your finances. But if you have if you have done any investments that you're like kind of shaky about, get out fast, and that's how you're going to manifest all this abundance. So this abundance is here, irregardless. Money is coming in. You are financially secure, you, irregardless. But you can have more if you get out of whatever investment you have made that you don't truly feel is a good investment because it's not 
that's not to say you shouldn't invest in anything. You should. But there's something specifically that you invested in that you're not sure is going to pay off. And it's, it's blocking you. You're getting money in, but it's not coming in as fast as it should. And then over here, in terms of your career, we have the Eight of Cups. So you're dropping things and you're walking away. Things that you've worked hard for, things that you emotionally invested in, and you're walking away to a new venture. Don't do that, because it ends in the Five of Pentacles. This is financial loss, scandal, lost job. Habit, having to ask for help, being out in the cold, extreme poverty. I see that's what you're doing. You're, you have worked hard for things and you're leaving it. And what you're walking into is extreme poverty. And then I have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So there's a broken home or marriage, a misalignment of values. So in terms of your career, you you worked hard on something, you're abandoning it, abandoning it. You're going off into your emotions, into something that you feel is going to be more emotionally fulfilling. But what you're really walking into is extreme poverty extreme hardship and a misalignment of values. I wouldn't make that sort of leap. If there's an investment that you don't feel is paying off, you're right. You should abandon that. But don't quit your job, don't yeah, don't quit your job. Whatever you do, do not quit your job right now. Because this isn't the job quits you, this isn't you getting fired, this is you quitting it. It's not a good move. Not a good move at all. And that's not the investment that I'm talking about at all. Uh, the investment would be um, something financial, like uh, maybe you put your money into a savings account that's supposed to gain interest when you should have put it into, I don't know, like a CD that will gain even more interest. Something like along those lines. Um, not, I invested in my college and now I'm, you know, going to completely change careers and go back to school that because I, I actually I've been with a Capricorn for 21 years and he had a CDL so he could be a truck driver well he decided he didn't want that so he went to college and he became an engineer now he's like I don't want that so then what he did is he actually um, started selling fireworks and, and so I don't know like like he, ch he changes drastically all the time. He has all these certifications. He can teach just about anything. Um, he can't like focus on one. And that's what you need to do. You need to focus on one. But if your intuition is telling you that this investment is not good, then don't do it. If you invest in cryptocurrency, you know, and you feel like, yeah, I don't know if this was a good investment, then don't do that. Uh, cryptocurrency would be like bit, bitcoins, uh, and there's new ones coming out every day. Uh, or if you invested in, I'm not seeing a new business. So if you invested in a new business, I don't see that as the investment that I'm that we're talking about here. I see if you invested in a new business, it's co money's coming in steady. If there's a new business, money's coming in steady. I do see the family and emotions are causing it to not come in as fast as it possibly could. But in the end, there is financial stability here. So that's not the investment that I'm talking about. So if you invested into a business, that I don't drop, don't like, get out of that. Um, this would be something 
smaller. Something smaller that you're just not quite sure of. A get rich quick scheme. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> this is weird. All right. Well, thank you so much, Capricorn, for joining me today. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. Thank you so much. Have a great day.